Hey, what's up, you guys? It's Caboose XBL bringing you another Batman Telltale video, and here it is. Episode one has officially launched for Batman the Telltale series. It is finally here, and we're just gonna get right into this. All right, w without further ado, let's just do it. If you are excited for Batman the Telltale series, if you're excited for this walkthrough, give this video a like. And let's just jump right into episode one. Bruce Wayne navigates the treacherous waters of Gotham politics as a series of shocking allegations surface while Batman confronts Gotham's most notorious crime boss. Let's do it. All right, who cares about the brightness stuff? I've added subtitles and stuff. Hopefully everything is working good here. Ooh, bat tech color. I like this. I like this. Uh, your bat tech color determines the look of Batman's gadgets, gear, and I'm gonna go with red. I kinda like the red, you know? Game series adapts to the choices you make. The story is tailored by how you play. This is something notorious with the Telltale games. All right. City Hall, 8.32 p.m. Hey, what are you? Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, I mean, the game is rated M, so... I was expecting some of this, but I just got a little quick reminder that the game is rated M, I guess. I mean, Jesus. Get it open. On it. You guys couldn't be that dumb. You think he's gonna show? He'll bring the whole goddamn place down. Stay focused. We'll be out of here before anyone can stop us. Ooh, I like the intensity right now. Move in! Stories, you know, sent three home in an ambulance. The rest in body bags. No wonder the cops want him dead. Hey, you ever seen him? Yeah, Gotham Zoo. With all the other flying animals. There he is. Yes. Ah, there's there's the red gadgets. Let's go. The gameplay is beginning. Go right into it. Let's do it. Oh shit! Huh? You know what's about to happen. You know what's about to happen. Quick time event? Is that what's happening? Yeah! Oh. We in this. We out here. Yeah! That's what I'm talking about. Oh. Bruce, you can't keep doing this. I have to. No one else will. Every drop of blood, everything you've sacrificed, the city is safer now. But it's made you a target. And people will keep you in the crosshairs until you're shot out of the sky. I can handle it. I can it. handle it. I love the storytelling already. The hell did he go? Whatever got in, don't let it get out. Nice. <laughs> that was so cool. I didn't even know if I was doing that right. <laughs> this is amazing. Oh, what do I gotta do? Wait, no, 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 no. 
shoot, I messed it up. Did I get him though? Yes, I got him. <gasps> <laughs> this is so cool. <laughs> I straight up feel like Batman. <laughs> this back is to amazing. Back. Circle up. I know you're trying to create a myth, but be careful you don't turn into a monster. Sometimes you need a monster. Come on! Come on! Come on! Let's go, Batman. Let's go, Batman. Oh. Dance with the devil in the pale moonlight? Mother teach you to knock. Right away, huh? Behind you, big boy. Payday. I can't tell if I'm getting these right. Or if I'm getting them like right at the last second. Like actually working out. But the quick time stuff is super cool. Hmm. It's it, I think it's probably like what makes it so cool is because it's not really like genuine quick time. Like it's it's fast, you know, like, you don't have, like, this super slow motion moment Stay where you, where you can, are. You're you under can get arrest. away with, you know, like, waiting a couple seconds and then hitting the quick time button. Well, if you want to be like, it's really fast paced. And I'm loving the storytelling here in the beginning. So the police. It's a scare tactic, Al. Just a performance. gonna like fight Catwoman? Without a scratch. So far. That doesn't belong to you. I was wondering if we'd cross paths. You broke the law. Here I am. <laughs> Cut the shit. The law. Don't tell me that's why you do all this. Squeeze into a suit, tie on a cape. Most people dressed up like that end up in Arkham. No one else will. I'm the only one who gets the job done. Sounds lonely. Huh. You gotta admit it though. You give a good chase. One day you might. I think I should have gone with the X. Tonight. Uh, Don't you know not to corner a wild animal? Thing like to it's say to dangerous. her. It's Then let's put you in a cage. Are we about to fight Catwoman? Bring it, Bat. This is about to happen. This, this is about to happen. This is happening. like the quick time stuff but I kind of would have like I wish there would have been a little bit of like more interactive combat you know but it's not bad I do enjoy it I don't know if I just missed a prompt there or something but, uh... Over here. you get this move us in closer Ugh. I'm like straight 
straight up punching her. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about that. It's over. I wouldn't be so sure. <laughs> oh, damn. <coughs> Callum kicks ass. Not shoot. Good old Gordon. There's a lot of quick time. Okay, I lo I really liked it at first, but I, I kind of wish there was a little more in-game stuff that we got to do. It is pretty sweet, though. I mean, like, I'm not complaining so much. Why go to all that sweet. trouble for this? Shit! A myth can't be killed. You, however, are flesh and blood. God what? damn it! I said don't shoot! <sighs> no! Stupid Wait. cop! God damn it! I got her. Oh, she's gonna die. Oh god. Get her, Batman! Oh. Yes! <laughs> that was intense. Oh, she lost the mask. Ugh. Guess I was wrong about you catching me. Not sure if it was for my sake or yours. I'm gonna be mean. Who put you up to this? Answer me or I let go. But you won't. You're not that kind of guy. Okay, I shouldn't have been that mean. She read right through it. <laughs> she read right through it. I could have I could have handled that smarter. I'm still used to the whole telltale thing, you know? The whole communication thing and learning which right choice to make. Step out of the shadows and be Bruce Wayne tonight. Oh, that's a much harder fight. Don't let tombstones be your family legacy. Voice acting oh. is good. Time to save the city. Here we go. Time to be Bruce Wayne and go socialize. <laughs> um, that was great. That was a great way to introduce this game. To introduce. Thank you. The series <laughs> Thank you, to everyone. Guys. A humble district attorney like myself is not used to such a ringing endorsement. Even one who cut Gotham's crime rate in half. Now, for too long. This city has burned with corruption and greed under Mayor Hill's authority. But I promise you, a vote for Harvey this is, Dent. This is Harvey Dent. Is a vote from to what I understand. Put your foot down. And together, we can stamp out the fire and save our great city. Some little graphical issues there. If only Mr. Wayne, like my campaign's like some largest backer, could have heard that applause, he would. Sh well, there he is, fashionable and fashionably late as always. <laughs> Say hi, Bruce. Welcome to Wayne Manor, everyone. My apologies for the late arrival. Oh, not to worry, Mr. Wayne. Thought I'd be a little, made ourselves very little kind there, you know. Thank you. Thank you again, everyone, for your unwavering support. Together, we will change Gotham. Yes, we will, Dan. I mean, Mr. Wayne, 
Thank you for opening your house to us. Now, I know this is the biggest mansion in Gotham, but I don't think you got lost on your way here. <laughs> Where were you? I know you prefer the brooding billionaire angle. So the sooner we make nice with the donors, the sooner everyone will leave you alone. Nice little Bruce Wayne religions. answer here. Congratulations, you almost missed it. You are a pillar of this city and my campaign. I need you here, tuxedoed and shaking hands. No one came here tonight to see me. Some they want to see the Bruce Wayne, am I right? <laughs> and I can see him just fine from here. This shouldn't be painful. It's not a kidney stone. It's only a little FaceTime with potential donors. Your face, specifically, with a mouth that's saying, Support Harvey Dent. We're the grease, they're the wheels. And they're rolling in enough cash and votes to help make Gotham a place for families again. I'm do doing this for Gotham. for Gotham. It's my home. It's our home. This will help you too, Bruce. Once I've turned this city around as mayor, you'll be a hero for funding my campaign. Now all I need is a decent slogan. I'm terrible at those. It always makes me sound like a used car salesman. Which, for the record, put a dent in crime. Before last yes, time. that's oh, what I'm going with. How about <laughs> uh, put a dent in crime? Hmm? Look at you. It's not half bad. I'm gonna use that, Bruce. I meant what nice. I said. Together, Did you it. and me, we change Gotham, a city free from crime, where children can play in the streets again. That's what I want too, Harvey. But you know how rough it is out there. We have to shake things up to make that happen. Well, we can start with a few hands, hmm? Come on. Mr. Wayne, I'm loving the story so far. The story is really, really good. Of course I know these two. Hello, Bruce. Regina here is the chairwoman of Wayne Enterprises, and her husband... Voted for Mayor Hill last time. I'll admit it, Mr. Wayne. I don't know Mr. Dent from a pothole on Main Street, but I trust your family. If you believe in Dent, we believe in you. After all, whoever you support is a reflection on you. And we trust someone like you to lead X this and B's greatness. answers were very well, uh, thank you. But we're <laughs> controversial. Here because so. we want to make a difference, and that's what it's going decided, to take. you know, let me go with every the answer. single one of us. That would be not right. Just me, not just Mr. Dent. Everyone. Right, right. Of course. Old families like ours should flock together, you know, like birds. You're like I said, I'm very dear. new to the whole Telltale series no, stuff, true. so the like, the whole conversation thing the and making the right Gotham. choice, it's uh, very new to me, so bear with me on this ago, experience. Dent, look at Gotham now! Murder I'm like gonna comment about every choice hall, that I make. The Cape Bat Freak dealing out vigilante justice like it's the wild goddamn West. Oh, Bobby, regarding Golden Age, seems you're getting cranky in yours. There's always hope. Forgive me for being blunt, but... One man can't save this city. And it's a dangerous mentality to think so. That's how you get creeps like this Batman. I'm gonna so be a little stern. Man. Sometimes you need a person who will go off script. Such as dressing up in a bat costume? And taking out the criminals who ruin our city. Though the cape may be a bit much. <laughs> uh, don't worry, though. That's a Bruce I'm Wayne answer right low. there. With Bruce's help, he defends himself, but makes fun of himself so that nobody suspects it's a thing. state-of-the-art mental health facility to help Gotham's most at-risk individuals. I like the Arkham Asylum name and drop. Martha Wayne, in the hopes that their fate will never be repeated. After all your parents did for this city, oh, to be killed in a botched robbery in some alleyway, it was terrible. Truly terrible. Way to go into it, lady. I mean, like hey, that, you know, you're not talking to the kid age. who just witnessed the whole thing. Must have been crippled. Twenty something years ago. If only that uh, deranged man had gotten the right treatment. Maybe. Uh, Let's make this about Harvey. Well, I don't like to think about maybes, and I'm sure you don't either. Well, Harvey is the one who's been behind the project since day one. A vote for him is a vote for the memory of my parents. You'll have it. Good. Thank you. Thank you both. <laughs> Not saying I doubted you, but that went better than expected. 
It is a night of ringing endorsements. <laughs> Takes a look at the girl who walks by. That's a little Bruce Wayne moment right there. Oh, well, a lot of stuttering going on. I don't know what's, what's, what's up there. Harvey Dent, Gotham's next mayor, and eager to know you. Vicki Vale, not interested, and reporter for the Gotham Gazette. This is a private nice. fundraiser, Miss Vale. No reporters allowed. Well, you don't mind if I stay and ask a few questions, do you, Mr. Wayne? Well, you can ask me whatever you want at the press conference tomorrow. Tonight is strictly off the record. We can talk, but nothing gets written down. I'm okay with Diplomatic that. answer, you know, let both parties here Wayne tick. have their way. This is quite the social event, Mr. Wayne. Oh, come on now, it's so formal. Call me Bruce. Well, <laughs> Bruce, you've been going around pleasing everyone tonight. But how are you doing? You should enjoy your own party before all the champagne runs out. I'm a hit on it. better now that you're here. <laughs> I'll tell you, if all these stuffed shirts weren't around, I'd give you the private tour. Mr. Wayne, you've... you've got something on your collar. Um... is that blood? Oh, shit. Yeah. It looks like... It's just wine. Spilled some wine. It, it'll come out. Stick to clear alcohols, Bruce. They never stain. <laughs> that look. <laughs> I do excuse you me, like, Master bitch, Bruce. Please. Another guest has arrived. <laughs> I'm sure they'll find the bar. You may want to greet this one personally, sir. Oh shit. Carmine Falcone? Is the Dent campaign soliciting votes from Gotham's biggest crime family? Falcone's never been convicted of anything except being a businessman who loves this city. Excuse us, Miss Vale. Carmine Balcony. <laughs> and what kind of business do you think he's in? The one that controls enough votes to get me into City Hall. This is the necessary evil of politics, Bruce. It's in the service of a better Gotham for all of us. Look, at least hear him out before you kick him out. Falcone requested to speak with you directly. I'm trusting like you, Harvey. Harvey. But I'm trusting you. Thank you, Bruce. Seriously. You know I have to pull every string I can to get elected. Yeah, well, just make sure this one doesn't hang you. A word of warning, Bruce? Play nice. I do what I want. You know, I've been in the market for a new house. Decent walk-up, sky-high ceilings, plenty of room for my cars. I think I'll take it. Though the decor offends my eyes. Oh, man, all flash, no class. Let's talk privately, shall we? Hey, <laughs> I like this guy. Ready to do business before we even introduce ourselves. But we'll get to that. Carmine Falcone, thank you for welcoming me home. Do I shake his hand? Home. Oh, man, do I do it? Everyone's watching. Oh my god. You're a respectable man, I hear. I got okay, I'm gonna do it. Oh Bruce man. Wayne. I know who you are. <laughs> the guy is gonna sell me his house. Gentlemen, perhaps we'll all be more comfortable in the parlor. Follow me, if you will. Whew. Alright. We're going to end the first episode at that. Lots of intensity. Lots of, uh, you know, lots of fires starting to burn right there. Definitely a great opening to this game. I'm so excited to get through the rest of this episode for you guys. But that's going to end it for the first episode of the walkthrough. If you enjoyed it and you would like to see some more episodes of this walkthrough for episode one of the Telltale series. And for future episodes of the Telltale series for Batman smack that like button it shows your support it shows that you want to see some more content content on this channel with all that said i'm caboose xbl please follow me on instagram and twitter and like me on facebook those links are in the description drop a like if you enjoyed leave a comment if you have an opinion and subscribe if you're new